Today I'm designing the cover of my Inktober sketchbook. Let's get into it. So as I stated in my last Inktober prep uh, video, this is the sketchbook that I will be using for this year's Inktober 2019. And this comes with a little <laughs> A little manual I suppose I didn't read it I read it in a minute I guess or sometime after this video and yeah so um the surface of this mole skin sketchbook is um I guess you can say it's it's not necessarily smooth but it's smooth with a tooth to it if that makes sense this sketchbook right here is smoother than the mole skin sketchbook but you know it's a sim it's a similar texture and I want to kind of test out the markers that I will be using on this sketchbook so let's take a look inside yeah um, I haven't done much in here but as you can see I've drawn peonies chrysanthemums and that's about it it's where the drawings stop but I plan on fin filling this sketchbook up so um, I want to do a sketchbook tour on it sometime uh, either by the end of this year or somewhere next year sometime next year so here are the sketches that I made for the cover of the of the moleskin and I really like Frankenstein and I was trying to get super creative with it and yeah this is what I came up with <laughs> I really like the one with the candy and coming out of a uh, Frankenstein's head and his top is lifted up. And yeah, I just tried to come up with some cool concepts uh, for Frankenstein. So let's begin. And I figured for practice, I'll draw a chrysanthemum because I really like those flowers, those and peonies, if anybody knows me. <laughs> I like to draw those. So, these are the markers that I'm going to be using to uh, create the artwork. Looking back at it, those are water-based markers, so mm, it probably would have been a fail anyway. And here is a more permanent marker, alcohol-based, and that is what I used to write the 2019 on this sketchbook and it stayed. Uh, I just wanted to see if these water-based markers would stay on this particular texture sketchbook and let me tell you um no matter of fact you'll see so here we go we're getting started here let me just zoom in a little bit here okay so I want to start off by sketching on it in pencil and yeah, it is a, it's a little tough to sketch on this particular texture in pencil as you, well, it, it kind of looks like I'm kind of gliding across it, but you know, it, it, it's a little tougher than it looks. So I am going to speed up this process because if I don't, this video will be way too long. So here we go. So let's get into it with the story time. So this story time is about my, uh, the last ex that I was with. Um, so I, yeah, I've been single for almost two years now. Whoop, whoop, happily single. I'm not trying to get into another relationship, at least not at this point in time. Um, I have other things I want to do before I jump back into a relationship. So yes. So I met my ex, we'll just call him Ethan. Yeah, Ethan. Ethan. That's a that's a nice name. I like that name. So yeah. Uh, so at my previous job, we would um, pack. We would well. Um, it was a warehouse full of Nike uh, product, apparel, and shoes, and that company would uh, ship you know Nike and apparel shoes but you know it wasn't Nike even though I used to work at Nike as well but uh yeah so um I was working there for you know a couple months before he actually came and the first time I saw him like I was I was a picker that was my job title I was a picker and 
we were on down we had some downtime so I'm uh we weren't really <laughs> picking at that moment so I was just walking around and I saw him or he saw me or we saw each other okay we ran into each other and um yeah I thought he was cute and he said uh he said something to me. he spoke to me I thought it was funny uh he made like a slight joke i think i'm not too sure on the details but we we said we exchanged words okay good words conversation whatever and i saw him a few more times after that he would say something and you know it was kind of funny i think he was making jokes or something and you know i thought he was cute and yeah so fast forward to him asking me out I think he asked me out and I don't know if I was kind of saying like no at first or because like I was I was not trying to be in a relationship then either but I, I kind of liked him it was someone about him that I liked so I think I just was like um we could hang out or something like that first and see you know where the relationship could go because I didn't just want to, you know, oh yeah, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't think that's necessarily what he wanted in the beginning either. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, as time with, went on, it was like uh, two, two, three months. Oh no, like two months or something of us quote unquote talking. You know, we were getting to know each other. But we really didn't see each other much outside of work and... I was telling him, you know, I want to see him more, you know, outside of work, but we couldn't because he had, like, other things to do or he was busy with something else. And I was like, okay, well, that was, like, mad annoying, but, you know, I liked him and I'm like, well, we're not technically in a relationship, but shoot, if we're trying to, you know, talk or get to know each other, it would be great to see each other outside of work. Then, more often than not. So time goes on and we end up getting into a relationship, but we still weren't seeing each other. We saw each other more, but it still wasn't, I guess you could say, to my liking. <laughs> I guess I, I could be uh, a little clingy sometimes. Um, just the way I am. Sorry. <laughs> well, um, and one day we were hanging out. I think we were at a park or something. And we got into an argument, and honestly, I don't even remember what it was about, but we kind of broke up after that. And, yeah, so going to work and seeing him was kind of awkward, so I was trying to, you know, I would avoid him. I would go, <laughs> if I see him, um, <laughs> if I see him somewhere, I would walk the other way and, you know, vice versa, until... Uh, one day he he walked up to me well no we walk, We were walking and we saw each other and you know face to face and I was about to just kind of <laughs> walk past him or did I walk past him I don't know it, it ended up um, he actually ended up saying something to me and we just talked again and we were cool for a little bit and then we ended up getting back together so I'm going to take a break from the story right here to kind of explain what I'm doing here um, now that I've finished um, inking this uh, sketchbook uh, I'm trying I'm using some tissue to see if I can rub some of the uh, ink off or the marker off and yes I am able to get a little bit of the marker off but also is a lot of the pencil uh, smudging underneath so I'm trying to see how well this will stay on top of the sketchbook with I think some of the marker is coming off but a lot of it is the pencil ink so here I'm using the eraser as you can see this is ending horribly because it's pulling up the marker and the pencil off of the surface of the sketchbook this is traumatizing so yeah looks like um, I'm not going to be using these water-based markers on top of my 
uh, moleskin and sketchbook for you know the inktober sketchbook so instead I'm going to use this permanent pilot marker yes so when I get to the sketchbook um, and try to sketch pencil on top of it I'm just like oh my god this is not showing up or at least it's not showing up well and this horrified me this is really terrible I have to freehand this on this small skin sketchbook now and not that I'm not accustomed to freehanding things but only freehand in my inside my sketchbook when I'm just coming up with ideas not for well, I don't know if you can call this like a final piece I mean but I mean it is an introduction into the sketchbook and if you do have your sketchbook covered in anything you know then it kind of I don't know maybe I'm just a little paranoid it, to me it kind of sets the tone for how the sketchbook is going to be that that I'm sure that's not necessarily true but you know uh yes we're going to see how this goes so I make my first mark and there it is and I am petrified because I do not want to ruin the cover of this sketchbook oh my god so yes I'm looking at the sketches that I made and I'm still not sure which sketch I want to go with so I just start putting down lines and I was wishing for the best hoping for the best but let me get back into the story so so I was talking about how we were together for a little while and we ended up breaking up again I think and then like um <laughs> it was just this other guy uh, we're just gonna call him clay and he got hired and we started not talking not like we were trying to get together or anything even though he liked me clearly he eventually told me but um we would just walk and talk have you know cool conversations he was such a cool guy and Ethan he would see that and you know he'll just walk the other way and he'll get mad and you know things of that nature and but me and Ethan <laughs> we ended up getting back together again uh and I was still friends with Clay uh, and Ethan he made it clear that he didn't want me to hang out with Clay or talk to him but I'm like Clay is such a cool guy I don't want to just not talk to him like that would be weird I look flaky then but um, out of respect for Ethan I slowed down on talking to Clay and yeah so me and Ethan would be together and have our ups and downs because you know I just felt like I wasn't getting enough um, attention in that relationship and he wasn't like affectionate enough for me so, so yeah um yeah and you know as we would go through our ups and downs um I don't want to get too detailed with this story uh, this video is not gonna be that long and yeah uh, people don't need to know all of that so um, I remember um, from time to time I would see this person calling his phone and we'll just call her hmm, Jennifer yeah we'll just call her Jennifer and I would see her name pop up you know quite often calling him back to back to back and he would never answer the phone when he was in my presence and I would think to myself I'm like who is this so one day I asked him if uh, that was one of his ex-girlfriends or something like that and he said that it was and they're just friends and and she calls him from time to time check up on them and I'm thinking from time to time every time I'm with you she's calling you so my mind goes hmm I wonder if he's still messing with her because I mean she's not calling you for nothing you must be talking to her and you know I know they were together 
for a while and you know I, at that point was I aware of how long they've been broken up I think they was broken up for a little minute but they were together longer than they were broken up so but it made me think back to when I would see girls in relationships with guys who were clearly cheating on them clearly and I was like if you found out or if you had like like a strong suspicion or something like that like I would freaking bounce but in this situation I didn't so I kind of understand how women feel like when you care about somebody enough so even when you see like red flags and signs um, you don't just get up and leave you know cuz I understand feelings be attached so I won't be as harsh on people <laughs> from now on but if I ever see something like that again that's definitely listen I'm mm -mm, I'm gone but in this situation I, I you know I stayed for a while and I remember one day um, I was on Facebook and it was this person I saw uh, was Jennifer I saw her commenting underneath his Facebook posts like uh, a couple of them recently and I'm like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not recently today but back then and I'm like this is her so I click her page and I see him and her well clearly those are old pictures that she was posting but she started posting them out of nowhere and I'm like you y'all must be like up to something so I kind of confronted him about it uh over the phone and you know he was kind of getting a little defensive and you know and he was just basically telling me there was nothing going on and whatnot and and if I remember correctly he was saying I don't know if if he was saying that he still kind of got feelings for her uh, or and he got feelings for me and he was trying to balance it I don't know I, I don't know the conversation was kind of a, a blur it wasn't as blatant as that like oh I still got feelings for no it wasn't like that it, he was saying something in such a way that made me feel like hey he still got feelings for her even though he had feelings for me and this just oh god it was just terrible <laughs> I felt bad <laughs> anyway um well we were still together after that and um what was it I wanted him to stop talking to her but I didn't want to tell him to stop talking to her I wanted him to do it on his own and I think I told him that and he said he was going to stop talking to her but he never did he kept talking to her and it pissed me off because he wanted me to stop talking to Clay and he wanted me to stop talking to somebody else one of my other friends that I still talk to today and but he wouldn't stop talking to her so that didn't make any type of sense to me you want me to do this but you can't stop talking to her and neither one of these guys are not they're not my ex and I don't like them like that they just cool cool people so let me fast forward to when we broke up well no the day before we broke up I had forgot that I had like because I was feeling miserable like I'm not saying like he was a bad person because he's not a bad person but <laughs> we just didn't mesh well <laughs> we did not mesh well at all so um I don't know if that has to do with me being a water sign and him being a fire sign but whatever um yeah um the day before we broke up I remember it was nighttime and I asked the universe I was praying to the universe I said anybody who does not mean me well or does not deserve to be in my life please take them out just get them away from me and the, <laughs> the next day we ended up breaking up it was a big argument over something stupid I didn't even want to fight but he kept dragging it on so it kind of <laughs> made me amp up and we ended up you know breaking up and then I you know had like maybe like 10 seconds 
to think about it. And then I'm like, no, that was stupid. We shouldn't break up over this, blah, blah, blah. And I tried to get back with him. And he kind of brushed me off, I guess you can say. Like, he, he tried to keep me at bay because he didn't want to stay on the phone with me, I guess. And he told me he would call me back later that night. But he didn't. So I ended up calling him like what was it was it that night yeah i ended up calling him that night and like the whole time from when we first got off the phone till the time i called him back at night <laughs> i felt so bad and like i i was just crying and i was trying to go to sleep i, I would go to sleep I, I went to sleep and then you know i still didn't get no call and then by the time i called him his phone was off and i'm like what kind of stuff is this and so I left him like a message the next day because he still hadn't called me the next day. Um, I left him a, a, a not a voicemail but like a text. And I don't think he replied to that. He didn't reply to that text. So um, the next day after that, I ended up going to work with my mom and I just left my phone at the house because I didn't want to be preoccupied. Pre uh, Ooh. preoccupied with that uh with you know what if he calls me or what if he doesn't call me and you know you know I was just I was kind of thinking about it but at least I didn't have my phone on me to really um make things worse I guess you could say and once I get back to that to to my house um he had he called me and he texted me but it wasn't about um us getting back together it was about a laptop hey i i didn't say that in the store i should probably should have put that in the store okay maybe i should rewind a little a little bit um so he like before we broke up he bought me or he got me a laptop you know and it was cute and stuff like that and once we broke up i threatened to throw it away <laughs> because I mean, I wasn't really going to throw it away. I was just talking stuff. I told him he can get it back. And he was like, no, it was, it was a gift. It's for you. You wanted me to keep it. And I'm like, Ugh, no, I'm going to throw it away. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we being somewhat of a hothead sometimes. <laughs> but I really, I wasn't going to throw it away. I was going to give it away. But no. Uh, but as I said that, he, you know, took the laptop back and whatnot. And anyway, I ended up um, giving him the wrong charger unintentionally I did not try to give him the wrong charger I don't know if he thought that I did or not so yeah um he was texting me about the charger and I was like crap um and I'm like no 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 my initial thought was so this is why you call me and text me for the charger that's it not to talk or to talk about what I, I text you or to talk about getting back together so I was like hmm, okay well looks like i'm about to let it go and you know it was hard but i listen if you don't want to be with me like i'm not gonna force you to like it's only so many times like i've never actually tried to get back with um my boyfriend before um that was a that was definitely a first for me but uh yeah it feels over it's just over so um i text him okay you know, you, you, I, that I, wait, who, who was it? I text him that I had left my phone at the house. I wasn't avoiding him or nothing like that. So I ended up um, telling him, okay, you know, he can get his charger. But he let time drag on. He would never come get the charger and stuff like that. So, so yeah i'm like wait a minute because i need my charger to my laptop so you need to hurry up and come get this uh this charger so we can make this swap and uh so i, I would text him i'm like hey you still trying to get your charge out because i i need mine and he like yeah i'm you know basically he was just saying yeah he'll come get it but he still would never come get the charger and i'm like okay so we're not gonna keep dragging this on because as soon as you get this charge i'm changing my number and shoot <laughs> and it, it is what it is at that point so so um 
I remember one day I texted him. I said, hey, this is the last time. Like, this isn't verbatim either. But uh, I said something along the lines of, hey, you, this is the last time I asked you to come get your charger. After today, you know, you're just going to be out of luck because I'm just going to buy me another charger. So, you know. And so he said, okay. And he ended up showing up to my house to you know get the charger and I sent my sister out there because I didn't even want to look at his face so she made the swap for me and he drove off and that was that on that and yeah it was hard at first trying to get over the situation um but you know I got through it and I mean I knew that I would so <laughs> yeah um there are definitely uh, a few things I would definitely do differently um come my next relationship like if this guy like even though okay I didn't say this at first he was talking about I was giving off a lot of red flags but little does he know so was he and next time I'm going to pay attention to any type of red flag in the beginning I'm not gonna let my emotions get the best of me this time and if you're still talking to your ex baby you can't talk to me that's it mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. and to this day I don't know if he and his ex were still involved or not I didn't really have direct proof but you know I had a strong suspicion and you know I just and eh, eh, it is what it is now it just means we weren't meant to be together and I was completely fine with that and uh, thanks for the experience <laughs> But definitely, I had to move on from that situation. Um, recently, he tried to contact me, or he did contact me via email. But, you know, I'm just, eh, go live your life. Do what you gotta do. Do what you do. Um, I'm really not trying to rekindle anything. I'm not trying to talk or anything. And I'm not trying to be rude or anything because, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, I went through that relationship for a reason and, you know, things just didn't work out and that's perfectly fine. So I'm still, you know, out there looking for somebody else. Just not <laughs> necessarily right now. I, I am enjoying being single because I'm trying to get myself together business wise, health wise and uh, I definitely want to grow as a person, you know, uh, so yeah, it is what it is at this, at this point. So yeah, that's the end of that story time and I have more coming. Um, so that is almost it for today's video. I think um, I'm going to be tracing the bolts around his neck. Or, you know, his, the bolts that are sticking out of his neck, I'm going to just thicken up the lines a little bit. And that'll be it for this cover of this year's Inktober's sketchbook. And, yes, I had fun doing this. It came out better than I thought it would because I was terrified. Ooh, I had to freehand this and, oof, child. But, you know, I like it. Next year, I'll be more prepared and be much better than this. But, you know, this isn't bad. So, um, if you guys like today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. I have more videos coming out. And please like the video and please share, share, share. So, thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, I'm outie.